Hey, Sagittarius. This is going to be for Sagittarius singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. To see what your options are in love for December 7th through the 13th. This is a general reading, you guys, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. But I will advise you to go ahead and check your moon and rising signs. Um, you know, that may help you to complete the, complete the picture for you. Okay? If you're interested in a personal reading, please um, visit pinkarygym.com. And um, we'll go from there, guys. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I will love you for life. All right, guys. Here we go. Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What do they have as far as love options for December 7th through the 13th? All right, guys. Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? Who is that? Scorpio energy. Somebody that is deciding, making a decision about you, making a decision about something coming towards you, asking you out on a date. Hmm. Okay. Here you are as the King of Pentacles, exhibiting some Earth energy here. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, has you have your head turned away from this person. Taurus energy with that hierophant there. I think you're looking for a serious, committed relationship at this point. This person is doing a lot of um, thinking, weighing options about you here. You guys have possibly been in a past relationship where there was a lot of conflict. They're deciding whether or not they want to come towards you once more. You are not even thinking about this person. You're thinking about other loves out there, other possible love connections out there, I should say. That is Cancer energy. We have Leo energy here as well, okay? I don't think you're even, you know, thinking about this person. Focused on them. I don't think they're an option for you. You may not even know that they are making a decision to come towards you. You're just standing your ground with what you believe and what you will accept in your life here. You're observing everyone that comes your way, everybody that tries to contact you. You're just kind of, you know, you're not jumping into anything. You're, you're more like contemplating and thinking about, you know, what's best for you, what's good for you. I don't see you looking at anybody here in particular. I just feel like in this card that you feel like you'll know when it comes along. But looking for something in particular, I don't feel like you're you're doing that. I feel like you will know when it comes along because you're going to be, you know, discerning enough to know if somebody is right for you, if they're worth your time, because you're going to check them out first. And that's how you feel that, um, you know, what's best for you. I think you gave too much in the past. And I think that really has you conflicted as well. You don't want to argue with anybody anymore. You know, that's that's like not your cup of tea. You don't want to change anybody. You want them to come, you know, you want them to come as a person that you need for, the, for them to be. Not to try to change them, not to try to argue with them, prove your point. They need to come the way that you need for them to be. I feel like you, okay? All right, Saggy, so that's what I have for you as far as love options for December 7th through the 13th. Again, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, um, Taurus energy present, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? We have some air going on here, but I think this is just more of you um, just being very discerning, 
you know, not jumping in, into anything right away, not making any fast moves, just observing to see what's, you know, what's going to benefit you and what's not. Okay. All right, guys, I'll be speaking with you soon.